So, Rob, if I'm struggling with acid reflux, how does acupuncture um, treat that, and how is it different than, say, traditional medicine? Millions and millions of people uh, who are suffering with acid reflux, and one of the most common ways of dealing with that is to take antacid medications. Uh, I encourage people to look into taking antacid medications for long periods of time because there are warnings on the labels for them that you shouldn't take them for more than a two week period at a time uh, and that in a given year. So most people are taking antacid medications long term and they feel better symptomatically but it's not addressing the real issue that's going on for them. And the reason that I say that is that the stomach needs to be quite acidic in order to digest your food. And if it's not very acidic, then your food isn't broken down very well in the stomach itself. And then when it gets into the rest of the intestines, the larger food particles can be absorbed well and you're not getting the nutrients that you need from the food that you're eating. So the entire digestive process is suffering because of normally a lack of acid in the stomach. Many people with acid reflux actually don't have enough stomach acid and they're not breaking their food down efficiently and then the food tends to sit in their stomach and it's rotting and putrefying in the stomach and then the actual food, the fermentation process of the food is what is creating the acid and then that tends to rise back up in the digestive tract and so then you get the belching and feeling nauseous and the heartburn and, and all that sort of thing but the problem is you haven't digested your food well in the first place and then to treat it symptomatically, people take Tums or Prevacid or some type of antacid medication that's over the counter to begin with, and they feel better, they feel relieved. But they feel relieved because they have um, handled the acid that's in the stomach from the food. They haven't actually improved the digestive process. So with acupuncture, what we want to look at is what is the uh, underlying problem, why is the stomach not processing, why is, the, why is the person not digesting their food well in the first place. And so for some people, they actually do have the problem that they're producing too much acid. So if you have uh, a problem with the stomach, you can have too much acid or not enough acid, and both of it will look like acid reflux. So that's the first thing we want to determine, is do you have too much acid or not enough acid? and then we have to deal with that in two different ways. With acupuncture, there are points on the, the pathways of the body called meridians, and when we put a, a fine needle into those points, it actually stimulates the function of the stomach, and it will help to harmonize or regulate the function of the stomach. So if you're not producing enough acid, it will help you produce more, and if you're producing too much acid, it will actually help calm it down. So acupuncture has a very regulatory response on the body. And what we want to do is we want to look at what is happening for you in the first place.